new prehistoric weirdo just dropped. If you haven't met them yet, let me introduce you to the Drapanosaurs. These uh, creatures are reptiles or reptile relatives, it's not really clear yet, uh, that lived at the time that dinosaurs were sort of just getting started in the Triassic period. And they are weird. We're talking humpbacks, sickle claws, claws at the ends of their tails. Most of them lived in trees, but some of them may have dug in the dirt. Also look at this arm. This is weirder than a bird wing. There's also evidence that they may have had left-right asymmetry in their claws like a fiddler crab. And today we have a new friend to add to the list. Meet Mirasaura grauvogeli. This one has a sail back. This isn't like Spinosaurus or Dimetrodon, which have sails made out of bony struts supporting a webbing of skin. These are integumentary structures, or like feathers and scales, keratin-based things. Uh, but these are kinda new. And the other animal to have sort of feather-like structures like this is Longusquama insignis, which we now know is a close relative. But now we can tell that this is basically a unique type of complex integumentary structure that isn't found in any other groups. Now, what were these crests used for? Another cool thing about the Mirasaurus fossils is that they contain melanosomes, which means we know that they contained melanin. It seems likely that they were using these to display to each other, probably some sort of mating display or display of dominance. So yeah, Drapanosaurs just keep getting weirder and weirder.